Right, so here's my official review of Doctor Strange 2. And I'm just going to be honest with you all, it's very disappointing and likely not what you expected. So here's why Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness sucks. Alright, so I'm going to start with everybody's new favorite superhero, America Chavez. And she just doesn't work for me. We are given literally no information on her and where her powers came from. Now I know characters like the Joker having no background for him works and just creates a mystery around him. But for America Chavez having powers to literally go to any universe she wants. So us being inferred that uh, she would just give to her powers without any sacrifice or character art to do so, it creates a character blander than Captain Marvel. And their explanation for the only time she used her powers is when she's frightened. We first learn uh, from a, a flashback, uh, she was stung by a freaking bee, which opened up a portal to the multiverse. And that's how she lost her parents. America Buzz. America Buzz is her new name. And her character arc uh, is given to us after years of not knowing how to control her powers. It took a zombie Doctor Strange pep talk to get her to know how to use her powers. I kid you not. Doctor Strange just said do it. And she may learn how to just control her powers and open up, open up portals anywhere she wants. America Chavez does not work for this movie. And... It's just a, a trend with characters nowadays, like Captain Marvel, um, uh, Michael Chavez, and others I'm forgetting, where they don't have to work for the powers. It's just given to them. So it creates very bland characters like Captain Marvel, like America Chavez, who have no personality to go with them at, at all. And it's, it's just a bad trend for Marvel right now. And America Chavez is just a, another one of them. Alright, so can we just talk about how the supposed protector of our reality, Doctor Strange, has acted so dumb in his last two movie appearances. He makes a worldwide affecting spell of Peter Parker to have everyone forget he is Spider-Man without getting anything out of the deal in return for him, and ends up messing up the spell. And in this movie, he decides to give out information regarding America Chavez to Wanda after not seeing her for years, and he... Clearly knows what he's what she's up to. Uh, he knew about um, the hex in uh, WandaVision, and likely knew that she may have been corrupted by the Dark Hole, but he still gave gave out her name, uh, America Chavez's name, who Wanda was trying to go after after for in his movie to help find her kids that don't even exist in her universe. Um, he def desperately tries to obtain Magical Book One, and once that didn't work out. He resorts to using uh, Dark Magical Book Number Two to defeat the Scarlet Witch. Like the like the laziest writing. Like a like you could choose any other thing, but of course they do the Book of Ashanti and the Dark Hold for Doctor Strange. Like just be creative and stop using the Book of Ashanti. Look at the the footage you're watching right now of me playing the Lego game. He's looking for the Book of Ashanti. Like it's not original at all. Like, why couldn't he just open a portal to a fake version of Wanda's brother to, to get her to stop? Because he can do that. He can open a portal to anything, right? At least that's what we've seen because these heroes and villains just have way too much power in the MCU. So there's always going to be uh, plot holes in every single movie because of how powerful they are. And I think it's why DC may make a comeback because... Uh, just from the Batman movie, it seems like things are going to be way more grounded and realistic, and I really like that. And I hope they stick with that, because it's going to kill Marvel. It's re it really will, eventually. Now it's going to take years, but... And lastly, was strange in a post credit scene, some random purple girl shows up saying, Hey, want to hop in this portal? And he just goes along with it. Like, what happened to being the wisest of all the Avengers? And as for Wanda... Why couldn't she just hit up Ant-Man and be like, yo, I hear you got time travel stuff with the quantum realm. Help me out. I'm sure he gladly would have. And that would be way more convincing than Doctor Strange because Ant-Man's not as smart as Doctor Strange. We could easily see him making that mistake, you know? And also, did she just forget about Vision? Like, at least he was real uh, and unlike her kids. So why not revive him? And also, where's White Vision from the WandaVision TV show? Like, I thought this movie would answer so many questions, but it only made the characters look stupid and ask us more questions. And as for the Illuminati, they couldn't be the most arrogant and stupid protectors of the multiverse. 
They knew Wanda was coming after them, and they didn't care. Mr. Fantastic got turned into Twizzlers. Twizzlers? And if Wanda can turn a Black Bolt's head into mashed potatoes instantly, then why did she just didn't why didn't why didn't she just do that to Doctor Strange? She could have done that to anyone and just won. But alright, my blood's starting to blow, so I'm gonna think of to turn this stove off. But uh thanks for watching and make sure to like, subscribe for more reviews, breakdowns, on literally anything I have my opinion on.